Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support from everybody. And we have an interesting review in front of us by the title. You can see it is a brand I don't review that often. I try to grab some pairs from them every once in a while. It's been not too long. I have reviewed a Puma recently, but this pair is pretty special if you know how the whole theme came about. So by the title, you can see we have an inspiration from a movie called Dazed and Confused. If you are not familiar with this movie, it is very, very good in my opinion. I think it covers a time period which I wasn't around. It was before I was born. We will talk a little bit more about it, but you have the Dazed and Confused, a couple of the characters up there, which were some of the teenagers from the movie. You have a stub back there. Puma up top in the kind of cloud writing. Overall, a really cool box around the side. This kind of wood grain effect going about on the back as well. Days and confused in the corner, and your tag is around there. I got these as a gift for somebody, so it is not my size, so I cannot recommend a sizing. I would assume true to size with Puma, like most pairs. This is a men's size nine and a half. Retail is not posted on the side there, but I believe they were. I think they were 100 US. I will make sure that's correct. Puma suede, dazed and confused, right down there with a little bit of color code with a Persian blue and Clyde Royal. And inside you have standard Puma paper with a little bit of a dazed and confused uh, print right there. Nothing too special. And this particular pair released, I believe, on April 19th, 2024 for $100 US. So, real quick, you do get a little bag here with the shoes. And it has a pair of green premium braided laces in there with the gold tips. Overall, a really nice touch to have an extra pair of lace with a little bit of an envelope. And this is what we are looking at. This is the Puma suede in the Daisy Confused. And they added this thick braided lace, kind of very similar to the extra pair you got, except this one is in blue. And predominantly, it is a suede upper on these navy panels. The print you see going across here with the Daisy and Confused smiley face and all the patterns throughout, that is on a leather material. Overall, I like the way these feel. I kind of like the look. I'm not big on straps on shoes, but overall, these are pretty cool. I honestly wish I would have got a pair of my size. You have a nice darker gum style outsole in that rubber with the stitching to match. Classic Puma style outsole in the same color you see coming up on the midsole. There is a close-up look at the Puma logo blending in in the suede blue with that kind of gold stitching going throughout. There is the smiley face and some of the print going across the leather so you can see the details up close more suede lining and trimming around the upper and on your strap there is a little bit of a difference there's suede going across one says living whereas the other one actually has the whole saying where it says you just gotta keep living man so overall a really cool touch with a little bit of quote from the movie going on this print throughout this kind of gradient color where it's purple and mixed in it's almost like a tie-dye in a way just not too much i guess I guess you could call it a tie-dye. It looks really good, though. I think it's a very unique sneaker, and if you're a fan of the movie, I highly recommend it. Days and Confused was a, I think, rated R movie. I think it might have been PG-13. It was about a group of teenagers in 1976 on their last day of high school. I believe the movie was released in the early 90s, about 1993. Smiley face on the back with the leather tab. There is your medial side as well. No peripheration on the toe box, but there is your laces, your printing, suede going up the tongue, suede over that eyelet, suede on the uh, Velcro. And if you actually remove the Velcro so we can look at the tongue a little bit, you will see there's a very unique thing on top of the tongue, which I will try to be as PG as possible with this because I don't want YouTube to be like, hey, your videos are rated for everybody, but you're talking about something that's not. Well, on there you have Puma, Dazed and Confused, and you can see that little device right there. We're just going to call it a grinder. I'm not going to explain anything else about that. If you don't know, you're probably too young. If you know, then cool. You can mention it in the comments. I just don't want to get the video striked for some reason. But other than that, this is a pretty, pretty cool shoe. You do have a lighter blue lining compared to the navy. And you have a nice kind of modern retro tie-dye leopard print weird insole going on. But it looks nice with the Daisy and Confuse printed right there. And in terms of the details, both shoes are the same with the printing all over the suede. The only difference was what I said earlier with the quote going across here where one just says live in, the other has a full sentence. And Puma logo on the back as opposed to the smiley face on the right shoe. And those are really only differences. You do have the same grinder on the tongue there. You do have the same insole with the print. So for the retail price, I think these are a solid buy, especially if you're a fan of the movie. The person I bought these for is a fan of the movie, so I thought it was a very good pickup for me and something to hold on to to when their birthday is. So 
If you are looking for a pair to get for inexpensive that might be unique, maybe turn some heads, I would recommend picking these up. I am not quite sure if they are still in stock. They did come out about a month ago. So let me know what you think of these down below. I will try to leave links if they're in stock. Let me know if you've seen the movie. What do you guys think about the movie, the shoes? What do you think uh, about Puma and some of their new limited editions they've been coming out with? I think the PlayStations are underrated, especially the Suede's. The RSX I think is underrated as well. I think these might be underrated too. But other than that, I'm going to leave the video there. I thank you guys for sticking around and watching this. Please stick around for more videos coming up. I'm going to try to continue to get more out faster. I've just been chaotic with work, but I'm going to try to get back to the channel more and more and get at least two videos a week, maybe three. Stick around. I have more good stuff coming shortly, and I thank you all for support. I hope you guys have a great day. All right.